in this tutorial i am going to discuss a programming question first bad version and this problem is described in the form of a scenario so imagine you are a product manager and currently leading a team to develop a new product unfortunately the latest version of your product fails the quality check and since each version is developed based on the previous version and all the versions after a bad version are also bad and suppose you have n versions so it's a starting from one and it goes up to n and you want to find out the first bad one which causes all the following ones to be bad for example now imagine your product has five version so starting from one it goes up to five one two three four and five so the first version is good the second version is also good the third version is bad and after this version all the versions are bad so this one is also bad this one is also bad so in this case the third ver third version is the first bad version and this is the uh, this is the output i mean uh, this is the first bad version after that all the versions are bad so and you are given an api it is bad version which returns boolean value and it takes version number it take integer as an argument and which will return whether the version is bad or good so it is bad version if it returns true it means the version is bad if it returns false it means the version is good so we have to implement a function to find the first bad version so when we write a code we have to we have to call this method we have to pass the version number as an argument and whether uh, so if the fun if this function returns true it means this is the bad version if this function returns false it means it is the good function it, it is the good version and we have to write a code in such a way that we should minimize the number of calls to this api now let's understand this problem statement through an example now suppose uh, we have given a five versions so the value of n5 is it means it goes it start from one and goes up to five so we uh, we have five versions so five versions of our product and version four is the first bad version so it's good it's good and it's bad and it's bad so now we know that we have a number from one to five and four is the first bad version so four is the output we know but how do we uh, how do we solve this problem how do we approach this problem uh, so that we can find out that four is the first bad version and uh, here is the example that we have to call uh, this uh, method is bad version and we have to pass the version number and as an argument so when we uh, pass three it will return false it means three is the good version when we uh, pass five it returns true it means the five is the bad version and when we uh, call this is bad version four it returns true uh, it means it is the bad version so it is the good version and it is the bad one so immediately after the good version we found the bad so this is the answer so four, four is the first bad version so this is the problem statement and now let's think how we can solve this problem let's start with the easiest approach and then we will optimize our approach to solve this problem so n is the maximum uh, maximum version of your product for example if the n is 5 so our version number is start from 1 so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 and we have to find the first bad version after that all the versions are bad and to know whether this version is bad or good we are calling this method is bad version and we are passing version number as an argument and it is returning true or false so the easiest approach is to run a loop from 1 to n so less than n actually so 1 to 4 if the n is 5 so we run a loop from 1 to 4 and then we pass so first we pass 1 is is this version is good or bad if it returns false it means it is the good version we uh, skip this condition if it returns true we immediately return so this is the first bad version and we keep uh, running this loop uh, till n minus 1 and if no bad version is found between 
वन टू एन माइनस वन इट मीन्स द एन इज द फर्स्ट बैड वर्जन सो वी रिटर्न एन सो वी आर सिंपली यूजिंग लीनियर सर्च सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज वी टेक ईच वर्जन वी आर कॉलिंग दिस मैथड एंड वी आर सो दिस मैथड रिटर्न ट्रू और फॉल्स एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी डिसाइड वेदर दिस वर्जन इज बैड और गुड सो इफ इफ यू फाउंड द फर्स्ट बैड वर्जन इमिडिएटली वी रिटर्न द वर्जन नंबर बट रिमेंबर दिस कॉन्स्टेंट और दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वी आर नॉट फॉलोइंग दिस पॉइंट वी आर कॉलिंग Uh, this method in each iteration for each version number so in any way we are not minimizing the number of calls to the api and we are calling for uh, for version 1 then version 2 then version 3 version 4 up to n minus 1 so uh, now let's talk about the time and space complexity of this approach so the time complexity is o n so we are iterating from uh, 1 to n minus 1 and its space complexity is o1 we are not using extra space and now let's see how we can optimize our approach to solve this problem in o log n time complexity let's discuss how we can solve this problem in o log n time complexity using binary search and how do we how we can use binary search to solve this problem so we have given a value of n now imagine the value of n is 5 so and the version numbers start from 1 so we have five versions of this product 1 2 3 4 5 and this versions are in sorted order so what we can do is we can first calculate the mid so if i can calculate mid through this method uh, i get 3 and when i get 3 so what i can do is i can pass uh, this 3 Uh, so i can call this method is bad version and i pass the value uh, 3 to uh, to this method is bad version and it returns good or bad now suppose let's say version up to 3 is good and then we have this bad version and bad version so we pass 3 to this method and it returns false it means it is the good version so we reach at this statement now we know Uh, from this point to this point all the versions are good now we know that from 1 to mid uh, no bad version exist so we have to check the first bad version from mid plus 1 to n so what we can do is in we reinitialize the value of start with mid plus 1 so the new value of start is 4 so we are checking is there any bad version or uh, so we are checking the first bad version from mid plus 1 to n so in next iteration again we are calculating mid so the value of start as 4 and then the value of end as 5 5 minus 4 1 divided by 2.5 so it is 0 and so the value of mid is 4 and this time uh, we, we pass 4 so version number 4 to this method is bad version and uh, we get uh, true it means this is the bad version and we assign end with uh, new mid value uh, which is 4 and when we check this condition start should be less than end so this condition is false we came out of this loop and we return the value of start so we know that if we found the good uh, so we, if we have not found the bad version we keep reinitializing the value of a start and the last reinitialize value is the if we found the bad version then the last reinitialize value is the first bad version so we uh, we return the value of a start and initially uh, we initialize these two variable start and end with one and n so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o log n so at each iteration uh, we are minimizing the lookup so that uh, uh, we have to call this is bad version i mean uh, minimum number of times and what about its space complexity so we are not using any extra space so its space complexity is o1 so that's it for this video tutorial for more uh, such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https://webrewrite.com 
and also please don't forget to like this video thanks for watching this video